This is your 2020 Mazda MX-5 RF, and it's a carryover model from last year, but it is still gorgeous and elegant and beautiful and sleek and fast and one of my favorite cars of all time. So let's do a real quick quirks, perks and irks. Everything's the same up front, uh, halogen turn signals, whatever. This time I don't care. And you have your LED headlights. Uh, your day runners pop up right there. And uh, there's a little extra LED there. Just looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna stand back and give you another quick look at the front quarter. Just simply beautiful. As we go around to the side, I have the top up on purpose because, well, I'll take it down in a couple minutes, but not many people see the RF uh, on reviews with the top up, so I thought I'd give you a, a look at it. And it just looks absolutely wonderful. You get nice 17 inch BBS rims, front Brembo brakes, red calipers. There's a quick look there. And I even got the BBS mostly straight for you. Side marker right there, because you know not everyone can see if they're beside you, if you want to change lanes. Um, this has the specific piano black roof as opposed to the poly metal uh, gray, uh, poly, uh, poly metallic, poly metallic gray uh, roof. So there's the contrasting black. You can just see, you can see just how reflective it is because you can see that brick wall. You can see it there, but you can't see it there. Anyways, uh, just jumping around to the rear, same thing as last year. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the reverse lights are the same shape as your day runners, and they are right there. Um, LEDs there and a halogen there. All good. A uh, little quirk. Um, there's no obvious button to open the trunk and it's not like Hyundai, you don't push there and there's nothing there, there, there. What it is, is it's under here, right there. So you push that and that's how the trunk opens. So that's what's in there. It's just a little bit of camera gear and the drone and the GoPro and Cup holders, as you know, and maybe, maybe not, uh, are removable. So I keep mine in the trunk because, well, it's been just me this week. Close it up. And uh, yeah, uh, twin tailpipes on one side. You know what? Doesn't even matter that they're not on either side. Uh, just, I love the MX-5 RF so much, just the way it is. Tops down, let's take a look inside. New for 2020 is this absolutely beautiful red Napa leather. And I think just, it looks so good. And the polymetallic gray, sorry, polymetallic gray looks really sharp. But if this was black and it had the red interior, I think it would look even better. That's, that's how I would spec it. So again, carryover model, nothing's changed as far as layout, placement of everything. Um, again, the seats, so good. Any color of these seats are good. Uh, really, really strong thigh bolsters and absolutely massive side bolsters. Um, Bose speakers all the way throughout. Uh, fun fact, when you are on your Bluetooth taking a phone call, it comes through these two speakers. Um, just, you know, if the top's down, you want to be able to hear, and your ears are the closest things to hear. So, nicely done there. Uh, again, typical wheel uh, from last year. I do hope for 2021 they come out with that nice thin design that the new uh, Mazda 3 has, the new Mazda CX-30 has, and I think it's going to find its way throughout the rest of the lineup. There is my favorite part, and it is the gear shifter. That in focus, sorry, it's up sideways, almost upside down. Um, yeah, everything else uh, is the same. So you got a digital dial on your left side, you have the analog in the middle, and uh, your analog on the right side. I think they're gonna change that next year to the kind of diagonal-ish pattern. It's still a uh, horizontal, uh, sorry, horizontally based screen but I think they're gonna push it back and make it just like the new Mazda 3, which I think would just really uh, take this from good to great. So that's uh, my two cents there. Uh, glove box, well, glove box, and call it storage bin. Um, iPhone charger and a pack of gum. Uh, my wallet fits in there and uh, sunglasses, so it's something, and it's lockable. And of course, there's a little bit of stuff here, Never mind that paper bread. Um, small things in your cup holders go there for those of you that uh, have never seen this before. Uh, that's one spot it can go and uh, you can have it here, but you lose elbow space if you put it there. Uh, there's a tiny look into the innards of the uh, collapsible roof, convertible roof, retractable fastback. We'll uh, stick with our proper branding. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the inside of it. And I'm gonna reach on over and give you a top-down look from the middle. Thank you, Mazda, for giving me a little bit of storage there as opposed to making it uh, hollow. Um, just enough space for your elbow to rest.
I stopped the roof halfway. So this part has gone from here and it's lifted up and gone back. The roof has gone from here and it's starting to go through here. The third panel, which is the middle panel, has gone from being completely straight to angled in and it's gonna go down and that's gonna go down and go flat and then that's gonna come right back down. to the Drive 2020 Mazda MX-5 RF. Same engine as last year, it's a two liter four cylinder engine, 181 horsepower and 151 pound feet of torque. I've got the six speed manual because, well, I think that's how this should be spec'd and you can get an automatic and you can get it with a soft top. But if I were to pick up an MX-5, I would take manual, I would take the retractable fastback, you can see my hand just going up and i wouldn't take it in this color i would take it in black with the beautiful uh, red leather seats that's how i would specifically want my one i know that i've had these pretty much every year for the past i think six years um, but i'm not bored of it at all and you know there's no oh it's gonna be the same thing and yes the, the drive is the same and what's new for 2020 here is the red leather seats but just there's that feeling of just of excitement of joy when you drive something as well put together as the mx5 so it's 13 seconds to open the roof and 13 seconds to close the roof and i was so close to getting stuck in a monstrous rainstorm a couple of days ago and i thought i could out drive it but i got stuck in a light and Thankfully, this MX-5 closes up really quick or else, well, I, I think Mazda Canada would have made me buy the vehicle if I brought it back with, you know, torrential downpour uh, water damage. Some numbers for you. Uh, we got a 45 liter gas tank, premium fuel, 127 liters of trunk space. Yeah, you fit an overnight bag, you fit a couple of backpacks and you are totally fine with that. Uh, Fuel economy, nine liters in the city, seven liters on the highway, and eight liters combined. The shifts are nice and crisp. The steering is very responsive. There's no dullness. There's no uh, blandness in the steering, the, the cornering, the handling, the performance. Uh, you know, th this is simply put, just a tremendously wonderful machine. And I'm happy that it was made because you know I've seen some some videos and some interviews with the people who originally had the concept for the Miata and it almost didn't make it off the ground so I'm happy that it's here I know a lot of the Mazda enthusiasts also like that it's here and with over a million sold I think that was 2017 that that happened um, the car is just simply iconic Safety wise, we've got blind spot monitoring, we've got rear cross traffic alert, we have the traffic sign recognition and the lane departure warning. Um, thank you, Mazda, for that. And there's only two trims you can get. You can get the GT uh, or the one that's just like a touch below it. Uh, they're spec fairly close. There's a couple of things that you get with the GT. And plus there is uh, the package that I have uh, that I'll put a list on that side of the screen saying what comes with it. Um, and that's the one with the uh, with the Brembo brakes up front and the BBS wheels and the red leather uh, and the mirror caps painted uh, gloss black. I realized that the MX-5 isn't for everybody because it's simply put, it's very impractical. You put one person beside you, that's it. 127 liters of cargo space. Like I said, there's not all too much that you could put in there, but it's the exhilaration that you get from driving the MX-5 and the way everything responds so well. The shifts are very crisp and everything's within reach because it's so small. I can actually reach out and touch the camera from here. That's how close it is to me. For what it's worth, I've put on 600 kilometers in my test week. I've got another 50 to go to return this back to Mazda Canada. And I'm at 6.8 liters per 100 kilometers. So I'm definitely under 
And I gotta say, I've tried to drive the MX-5 as much as I possibly could with the top down. It's Sunday the 28th of June today. I do all my car review filming on Sundays. That gives me a full seven days to get driving impressions and feel and make my notes and just kind of get a good feel uh, for whatever car I'm driving. And thankfully, except for that little tiny little big splash of rain that I thankfully missed, uh, I've had the top down the entire time. Whether it's first thing in the morning, middle of the day, scorching hot, doesn't matter, wear a hat, and at night as well. If you have any questions on the 2020 MX-5, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate the support. Be well, be safe, be healthy, and I'll be back sooner than later with my next car review.